Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. Today we'll review National Institute of Technology, Raipur, and we'll discuss everything that you should know about this institute, its campus, courses, placements, fee structure, and a lot more. And to know the rank requirement for BTEC admission in this institute, do watch this video till the end. NIT Raipur was established in the year 1956 and got its NIT tag in the year 2005. The institute is ranked 70th in the engineering category. Let's talk about its wonderful campus. The institute is located in Raipur, the capital city of Chhattisgarh and is spread over an area of 100 acres. Its magnificent buildings symbolizes the grandeur of the institute. The campus consists of all the basic facilities that an NIT generally provides. It includes six hostel blocks, residential quarters for teaching and non-teaching staffs, a bank, central library, laboratories, a well-equipped dispensary and a well-maintained guest house, sports facilities with indoor and outdoor sports fields. Here you will actually find a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses. The courses that are offered under the domain of BTEC are Civil Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Biomedical Engineering, Biotechnology, Information Technology, Metallurgical and Material Engineering, and Mining Engineering. The fee structure for all these BTEC programs is more or less the same. The fee comprises of tuition fee and hostel charges. So the tuition fee for the entire course is somewhere around 5 to 5.5 lakh and the hostel charges are around 23,000 per semester. Therefore, the fee for the entire BTEC program lies between 7 to 7.5 lakh. Talking about the fee waivers now, as per government norms, there are some fee waivers offered to the students like 100% tuition fee waiver for ST, SC or PWD category students, full remission of tuition fee for the general and OBC category students whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum and two-thirds of the remission of tuition fee for the general and OBC category students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. In addition, NIT Raipur offers certain scholarships to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. Here is a list of scholarships offered to these students. For more information on NIT Raipur scholarships, do visit the official website. The link is given in the description. To get its students admitted to one of the BTEC programs, all the NITs follow the same admission and eligibility criteria. Like for the students seeking admission in one of these programs need to qualify J main exam and pass class 12 board examination with science stream. 75% for general category and 65% for STSC or PWD category is the required percentage. Further, the students will register themselves for JOSA counseling based on the marks secured in J main. Now, these students will get their documents verified and pay the required fees. For international students, the foreign students get selected through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. Now coming on to the placements. As 2023 placement statistics has not been issued by NIT Raipur, so let's have a look at the placement statistics of the year 2021-22. In this session, a total of 693 offers were received where 648 students were successfully placed in different branches. Like 98% students were placed from chemical engineering, 91% from electrical engineering, 93% from information technology, 90% from the mechanical engineering, 89% from the computer science branch were placed and on the other hand, the least placements were made from the branch Biomedical Technology, which was 56.76%. The overall placement percentage was 84.27% with an average salary package of 10.12. There was a rise of over 27% in the number of offers received during BTEC placements 2022 as compared with 2021. At the very same time, a slight fall of over 1% was witnessed in the average package offered in 2022 as compared to 2021. As the average package in 2021 was 10.23 lakh per annum and in 2022 it was 10.12 lakh per annum. Moreover, the placement-related aspect is very well taken by the Department of Training and Placements as the college is visited regularly by top companies and top brands. 
Now let's move on to yet another important aspect of admission that is cutoff. NIT Raipur Cutoff 2023. See students, as you all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved 50% for the home state candidates and remaining 50% for other state candidates. So let's have a look at NIT Raipur Cutoff 2023. You can see the branch wise cutoff after the sixth round of JOSA counselling. Thereafter, there's one more round that is conducted by CSAP. So let's have a look. For chemical engineering branch, the rank for home state candidates stopped at 62,552. And for other state candidates, the closing rank was 42,804. For computer science and engineering, the rank for home state candidates stopped at 22,413. On the other hand, for other state candidates, the same closed at 12,773. Which means if you manage to secure a rank around 12,000, you can still get a CSE branch here. For electrical engineering branch, the surprising figures show that home state candidates made it to this branch with 44,603 also. And for other state candidates, the rank closed at 27,264. For information technology, the home state rank closed at 32,025 and for other states, the same closed at 14,763. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the other branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For more information on branch wise and category wise rank cutoff for different categories such as for ST, SC, EWS or for girl students, do visit the link given in the description. What about fest and recreational activities? Yes, if you are wondering about the fest here at NIT Raipur, then let me tell you there are quite a few fests conducted here at NIT Raipur. However, the two most popular ones are Electrica and Avartan. Electrica is a cultural fest scheduled in spring every year and is considered as the biggest college festival of Central India so far. And Avartan is a technical annual fest organized by Technocracy. A wide range of events such as hackathons, coding competitions, technical workshops, seminars and technical talks are conducted under this annual tech fest Avartan. Now, let me tell you, the state of Chhattisgarh is a mineral-rich state having enormous potential for development. Many industries such as steel, cement, steel alloy, mines are located in the vicinity of institute, giving it a unique advantage for industry-institute interaction in various disciplines of engineering. So, placement-wise and exposure-wise, you'll get a lot to explore here. So, if you manage to get your preferred branch here at NIT Raipur, do consider it. Rest, the decision is all yours. Now, you let me know which other college you want me to review next. Do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.